So in, I got four games. This is Nick's picks. I got four games through this week. Last week I went two and two, which seems to be what I've been doing all season. Basically, just one of those things. I mean, the Jaguars really let me down and didn't score anything against the 49ers. And uh the you know, the Browns managed to pull out that game against the Ravens. So two and two last week. I got, of course, I got four new games for you this week. And I'm gonna start with those upstart Texans, as it were. They have the Cardinals this week. Now, again, Kyler Murray did come back, which gives the offense a little bit of a shot in the arm. But I really like what Houston is doing now. Uh, C.J. Stroud is definitely, I think, on the rise. And I think the uh, I think the other, uh, you know, I think the NFL itself has started to notice as the Texans are favored in this game. They are giving up four points to the Cardinals of Arizona. And so I'm going to take the Texans minus those four points this week against Arizona. My next game is a Super Bowl rematch on Monday Night Football. The Eagles, led by their center, Jason Kelsey, who's become one of the most popular men on the planet outside of his brother, playing Kermit the Frog, as Tina likes to so elegantly call him, the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, of course, and his brother, Travis Kelsey, again, Mr. Swift. Uh, so, yeah, Eagles-Chiefs, Monday night, Super Bowl rematch. And the Eagles are the underdog going into this match, which I do find a little interesting given the records and given, you know, I get it. Maybe people people think the Eagles are bound for defeat, but it is a home game for Kansas City, so maybe that's why the edge is there. But in any case, I'm going to ride the Eagles plus three. They're getting three points against the Chiefs, so I'm going to take the Eagles plus those three points. Next game, ravens Bengals. Yeah, Bengals kind of took one on the chin on Sunday to the old Texans. And the Ravens took one on the chin to the Browns. So we got two teams coming off a loss trying to rebound. And this ought to be a good one. These AFC North matchups seem to really, no matter what the records are, no matter what's going on, these guys play each other tough. It's just a tough division. You know, all the teams as of right now, I believe, are 500 or better. So, yeah, you can't beat the AFC North right now. So ravens Bengals. But I'm gonna I'm gonna ride Lamar Jackson here. I'm I'm very happy with the way that Baltimore's offense has come along. I know you know Lamar is much maligned, but I like the way he's playing. The defense is playing well. They're getting you know they're getting a combination of passing and running finally, where the offense is a little more balanced. So I'm gonna take the Ravens. They are a favorite here. They're minus three and a half points. It is a home game for Cincinnati, but the Ravens are favored. So I'm gonna ride the Ravens minus three and a half. Uh, this weekend and my last game uh, two teams that I mean as far as the Packers go they haven't had a very good year the Chargers just can't can't seem to get over that hump and maybe it's because you know they're still reeling from giving up a 27 or 28 points 27 point lead last year in that playoff game against Jacksonville but they've just been all over the place this year and you know they lost that close game that which probably was I would have to think one of the best games of last week in that Chargers Lions game. Uh totally back and forth affair that you anybody could have won that game. But Chargers came up on the losing end and they get the old Green Bay Packers this week. And as we all know, I'm not much of a Packer fan, so I don't really care. But uh the oh, Chargers <laughs> go for no, oh, listen, and yeah, I know it's an AFC West team, so Tina's got a root against them. I get it. It's okay. Not gonna hold that against you. You root against, just, you root against the AFC North guys, so <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. I no, I like you know what? I like the AFC North. No, I don't. Anyways, no, I'm kidding. I like Lamar. I like the Ravens, but yeah, Chargers, Packers. Chargers are favored by three. I think they can beat the Packers by three. You know, Keenan Allen had a really great game the other day. Justin Herbert can still sling the ball. I, you know, I'm gonna go. I still got Austin Eckler. The Packers don't really have anybody. Jordan Love is not playing at all. Yeah. The, you know what? That hey, Ab, you could be right, my brother. I mean, it would be hilarious if that did happen. I'm waiting. For, I, I, I welcome a tie. I like I said, I thought the the uh the one game the Bears were playing, I was like, wouldn't it be oh, when the Bears played Denver, I was like, wouldn't it be great team if this game just ended a tie because both teams were sucking at that point? And it would have just been poetic justice for the game to just end in a tie. 
But yeah, I am going to take the Chargers, though, minus the three points. Their favorite. I think they can beat Green Bay, even though the game's in Lambeau. It's still not extremely cold up there, so it's not like that's going to affect the Chargers from Los Angeles too much. So that's mm -hmm. my picks for this week. Quick recap. Texans minus four. Eagles plus three. Ravens minus three and a half. And the Chargers minus Trey. So that's Nick's picks for this week. Follow along, and I'll let you know how I did next week.